well, we hope the weather stays like this for the next couple of days, lovely. Um. Folks, first part of this job is done. There's a new gate going in here, so I've made the opening. Here's the first stage of this job, so basically getting the posts in. So there'll be a gate here. This area here will be fenced off with a hit and miss fence. And then I'll just show you the other side now. So the other fence that I'm doing is at the back of the garden, so right along the back of the garden. So basically here's the back of the garden, putting posts in again. You can see the line of the fence down here. So we'll put the fence in here, hit and miss fence all the way along. Right up that top corner. And that'll close the close the garden off. But obviously this fence is going to be painted, so I'll have to do it in stages. So the next stage is rails. What I'll do after that is I'll get all that painted. And then I'll put the first row of slats on, then I'll paint all them again as well. So it's a bit of a staged approach this one. So, as this will be a hit and miss fence, you're better painting it as you go. Uh, it can be really awkward, you know, painting a hit and miss fence. Uh, so I tend to fit the posts, fit the rails, paint them all. Put the first row of slats on, we'll get all them painted, front and back. And then before we put the other slats on at the back, uh, we'll paint one side of those, fit those. Um, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, that just leaves you the, the reverse side to paint. So the paint I'm using for this is, I always recommend Cooper and All Ducks Back. So here's Cooper and All Ducks Back. Um, I always recommend that, it's a good good paint. Um, and I always put it on by brush if I am painting fences. Um, spraying's all very well, but you do tend to get a patchy finish. So if you work the paint into the, the fence with a brush, um, I think you get a lot better finish. It's a bit more time consuming, but um, that's okay. There's the rails, I'm just setting out, I've just strung the line just to get the Follow that line and we'll, that'll give us a nice straight edge at the top. Um, this fence is not getting capped so it'll just be the, just be the boards. Uh, so we'll get on with that now. I did actually give the client the option of taking the fence across, you know, keeping it square at the top, like that. The only problem with that is it would be low at the wall side. Or I gave him this option as well where we just angle it up with the ground. And this is the option that he decided to go for. Right guys, this one's progressing now. So we basically built a single slatted section of fence here. Um, and we'll be fitting pre-painted boards on the reverse side of this to create a hit and miss fence um, down here. By doing that, it just means you don't need to paint that side of the board, you know, through this gap, which could be a, a right pain. So we've done that in this section here, and I don't know if you can see through the back section there. So you can see there, this is what the fence will look like with these boards all along there to close the gaps. Um, so, as I said, pre-painted. That'll get fitted to this side, so there'll be a row of slats all the way down here covering these gaps. All painted, so it just makes it a lot easier. Right, so this is the back section of the rear garden fence. But basically, again, we've built a single slatted fence. Just painting both sides of this before we put the other boards on. It's a pain. I hate painting. I wish I'd never said I would do this. <laughs> right folks, eventually this one finished. Um, this is the side section. Fully painted now. Gate installed. So, with the fix a uh, 4x4 four four post to the wall here. I've actually done a video on how I've done that, so you can click the link there if you're interested. Um, there's another video on how I made this gate as well. 
again I'll stick that up there excuse my hands covered in paint again but so this is a side section of the house here's the gate and then this brings us through to the back The rear section of the gate. So we'll come through here and then we've also put this hit and miss fence at the back as well, fully painted. So So we've got a six foot hit and miss all along the back of the garden. It's quite tricky to see, it's quite overgrown and stuff. Um, but it's not too big a area, it's about 12 metres, something like that. That's it, finished in Cooper and All Ducks Back uh, Forest Oak, so it goes well with the greenery and the plants. So that's that side, uh, I'll go to the back now.